All right, so here's where we left off. Uh, just going back to the instructions. Really, we covered all the basics of Mario, scenery, sprite, and enemy. Really, the things we haven't done are these last ones, which are lose, win, restart the game, and then uh, make sure when you restart, so there's a clear start and stop, that you can repeat the game, okay? Um, and then down here, you can add anything you want. I like to include that because I try and set the bar low enough that everybody can succeed and yet create enough interesting opportunities like gravity, other types of games like just that you want to run and create, okay? All right, so let's go back in here and let's add in some win, lose, restart. Right now, I just have it say you died. Now, just going over that again really quickly, what I've got going is Goomba and Mario touch each other, and that's the circumstances for winning and losing. Now, I only put the if touching on just Mario, and then I made sure for the Goomba that he would receive this message. So I'm if touching, broadcasting a message saying, hey, every object in the game know that Mario is touching the Goomba. So over here on the Goomba, I know, hey, when I receive that, the game's over, okay? Um, I'm gonna change this just a little bit, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a game over screen. So I'm gonna click paint new sprite. I'm just gonna fill the screen with black. Whoops, fill with black. That's not black, let's click on there. And then I'm just gonna add a beautiful handwriting and you could download a, a good game over screen. I'm just gonna write, you lose. And then maybe add a, a, some art. There's my beautiful art, so sad. Okay, so now that covers everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this. So at the beginning of the game, I wanna hide this so that's not showing. However, as soon as I receive Mario touched, so Mario detected that Mario touched Goomba, that's when I want to show this message. Okay, so, oh, look at that. Now notice that it's not in front, so I'm even gonna say show it and go to the front layer, so it's in front of everything. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, you know what, and I want you to wait, maybe like two seconds, and then I'm gonna broadcast another message Okay, and that message is, and here there's no need to broadcast and wait because there's nothing coming after it, uh, but let's just keep it in there. I like it, it's more reliable. So now I'm gonna say broadcast the message, restart the game, okay? Now for everything over here, um, where it's saying Mario detected, I'm actually gonna change this to restart the game. So when we restart the game, go to where you should be. Now on this sprite, what do I need to do? I need to say, as soon as I say broadcast restart the game, that's when I wanna hide this, right? So I wanna go, uh, when I receive, restart the game, go ahead and hide this, okay? So I've set up when this hides, which is when we start the game originally and when we restart the game. And then I showed up when it's gonna show, which is when Mario touches the Goomba. You lose for two seconds. Okay, now let's do that with everything. Uh, now over here, it can just forever be going. We don't need to reset the clouds, but we can if we want to. Same thing over here. We don't need to reset the clouds. You can just have the clouds keep going. You can reset it. Uh, this one, the hill, maybe I do wanna reset it. So I'm gonna leave that there for one, but I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna say when the game restarts, okay, so when I receive restart, I do want the hill to go back to where it was, okay? So at the beginning of the game, the hill goes back to this box. I'm restarting the level, right? And then for here, uh, when Mario detects or Mario hits, I don't care. They could still just be walking and doing something, but it's when the game restarts, I want the Goomba to show back up over there. I want the level to restart. Everything else looks great, okay? I'm gonna go to Mario. And I'm going to say, yeah, he's still moving and animating. When I receive restart the game, go back to where he is. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to add this, oh, no, I died. I put that message on the other screen. So when we restart the game, 
He's ready to go. Woohoo! But oh, you lose. Two seconds later, it restarted and everything looks great. Okay. Now, when I hit, oh no, you lose. And again, the way I did that is one object in the game, Mario, detects in a forever loop that has no wait times. So it's always detecting. Did I touch the Goomba? Then it broadcasts a message to everything in the game. And that's where everything in the game knows what to do. Specifically, I used it for this object over here that just is one screen. It's a new sprite. Oh, I didn't type this name here. This is the you lose screen. Okay. And so the you lose screen will pop up when Mario hits the Goomba. And then when I broadcast restart the game, everything goes back to its correct position. And this one hides itself. Now we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. Now we don't have to actually, let's just make a new one. This one is going to be, I don't know, let's do it uh, green. Now let's do it. I don't want to do it sky color. So let's do it. Yeah. This like seaweed color. Okay. I'm going to get fill. I'm going to fill the whole screen and in a wonderfully beautiful thing. I'll say, Oh, you win. And again, I'll add some beautiful art. Oh, oops, that's the wrong art. There we go. Oh, yeah. I feel so happy. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. So now at the beginning of the game, just like over here, I'm going to say hide it. But when I receive restart game, I also want to hide it. So when the game starts at the beginning or anytime it restarts, I always want to hide it. And then the one other thing I need to do is have some sort of message show it. Except for this show, it's going to be, oops, I'll move it out of the way here. For the showing this one, it's not going to be uh, Mario hits. Instead, it'll be Mario reached the end goal. Okay, Mario won. So when I get that message, now over here for Mario, I need some way to detect that he's reached the end of the level. So just like here, I say, if Mario hits an enemy, he loses. I'm just going to add another if block because again, there's no wait times in here. This is the perfect place to put it. So I'm going to put another one in here that simply says, did I reach the end goal? Now for me, the end goal is the end of the level. You might have a flag that you have to get by. You might play an end goal animation which would be awesome, like go to a new screen and show the little boo, doo -doo 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 -doo, getting the flag and walking into the castle. You should do that. That would be awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to put right here. If Mario's X position ever gets passed, um, notice I can never go past 215 because if I get to 215, um, I won't be able to move to the right. So I'm going to say if I get past, I don't know, like two. 10 that's somewhat close right then i'm going to say broadcast the message and wait and the message i want to broadcast is mario reach to the end goal so now i can start my game whoops i need to let's stop this and restart it okay i'm going to jump oh yeah let's see if i can do it again <laughs> yeah. oh epic fail where's the sound for that oh whoo, i made it Yes, I made it to the end. And then everything restarts. Okay, so woohoo, I won. Amazing. And then you could add something like um, instead of a um, wait two seconds, you could put a wait until. Like that would be a really easy way to do like wait until a space bar is pressed or something. Um, so watch. Now, I'm not going to do this because in my instructions, I never wrote hit the space bar to restart. So I'm not going to leave this in there. But now notice that, whoops, <laughs> uh, I can go over this and wait, 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 and then wait, I'm going to hit the space bar now. Oh yeah, we're ready. Now that wasn't the best because then I actually jumped too. But notice now it's hanging on the space bar. And if I go back to Mario, this detection loop is actually frozen on the broadcast and wait because the thing that's broadcasting isn't done running yet. And then space bar, I just unlocked it. So I'm going to go back to two seconds, but you can very easily add in a like wait until or press R to restart because all you need to do is anywhere in the game, you just go uh, when R is pressed, 
then broadcast the message. Restart the game. Ready? So like now I'm in the middle of the game anywhere. Do 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 restart. Do 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 restart. Do do re do do start. Re 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 remix. Okay. I'm just getting crazy. Uh, so one thing you might have noticed there is if I'm in mid jump and I die, oh, it doesn't show up now, um, and it restarts. But the main thing there is instead of going first, I would do after everything happens, everything's paused for two seconds. That's when you do the um, set position. So every like jump and everything's finished and you're good to go. All right. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, again, I just, all I did in this video is walk through the, if he doesn't jump, the enemy hits him and he loses. Uh, he can jump over the enemy and win. It has a clear start and stop. It's repeatable and everything starts back correctly and add comments to the code. And as soon as I'm hitting the stop button on this video, I'm going to go ahead and add some extra uh, comments. And then I'm going to link to this project in the YouTube description. All right, you guys. Enjoy.